okay miui 13 global stable is here miui 13.2.3 by buyraffi and this is available for the miui 12 device users redmi note 9s pro pro max and poco m2 pro if you're a user of any of these devices you can install this thing on your device as it is a ported rom it's not official one so keep this thing in mind if you're having any kind of minor bugs available here and there just don't just don't complain about those because this is not the official one it is actually a ported one but yeah that's good enough i didn't got any major bugs so far the best part is it's based on android version 12 this is actually something really good a plus point about this one as if your user looking for miui based on android 12 then this might be a very good choice for you a lot of miui ported rooms are already available for the mutual device users i tried this i thought to share with you so that's why i'm here to share my experiences about this one the things which you get here by default control center the default launcher and a lot more things so stay tuned for that let's find out some things for example as quickly as possible we have the default ui like this you can see the miui dialer and miui messaging is included the best thing is it's based on miui global version but yes it has the miui dialer and this miui this kind of miui messages and apps so yes it feels good and including that you are, if you're able to see the icon pack is also from poco you have the miui 13 file manager also included in some global devices you have the same miui file manager which you get in the miui 11 miui 12 and same with miui 13 and app opening app closing see speed seems to be quite good it has a poco icons as you can see poco launcher icon are available i had poco x3 once and i know that these icons are from that these icons are not looking that bad but i think some new icons were looking better but you can choose that if you want to if you're able to see one thing the colors here the colors are actually almost matching to the wallpaper which means the monet theming is included which is working perfectly fine as it is based on android 12 miui includes monet theming i think so it's a very good thing of course it doesn't include the google phone or google messages app but you can install those separately if you want to but miui messaging app or miui calling app does not support the monet theming so keep this thing in your mind but google app supports the monet theming as it is now if you take a look at the control center i don't think so i need to tell you anything about this new miui 13 control center this looks better in my opinion i just like this control center and better than the normal control center which you have there in miui 12 or miui 12.5 the media playback thing is also included there if you want to use it you can and the thing is that it is by default i haven't installed any system a plugin app to install this kind of control center or to enable this control center this is by default included so i think so this is also on the plus points as you don't need to do any specific things to install this kind of control center on your device other things are just kind of same if you want to install this thing you can let's move on to some other things in this one as this is me with 13 stable one the theme store is also in chinese theme store is in chinese not actually in chinese the theme store has the import option available and the default themes the default icons as you can see poco icons the default wallpaper is from poco so it's also almost same like but you can import the third party themes if you want to the theme store actually not in chinese you just saw at the starting of this themes we have the english theme names but it is from the china one now moving on to the camera section and uh, we have i have tried uh, recording one videos and tried uh, clicking some photos here let me show you by going into the more option if you're able to see the create pdf recognize text adjust protective watermark all these options are present here protective watermark which you have in miui 13 create pdf which is a very good option by the way and that is also available here including there some a lot of other things for example if i try to enable the create pdf you can see it's done you can save it rename it send it it's a very good choice and that's available in miui a lot of good options are already available in the miui gallery recognizing text is a, one of those options which is available it takes some time here i tried this in this picture i am not sure if it is just not working here because i i just don't use recognizing text feature much and even not and even any one time i haven't used this feature on my device so yes as you can see it's taking a lot of time but the thing is uh, miui gallery has a lot of uh, tons of features including that if you move the protective watermark feature 
let me show you by checking out any other watermark if i have enabled this if it is working fine i don't think so we might have any kind of issues we might face any kind of issues while checking out this option if you're able to see as you can see tk it's there which means me my watermark or active watermark is just working perfectly fine that is something really good as this me my 13 has almost every feature whatever you were looking for and including that you also have the google lens support available so yes it's one of the good things about this me my gallery and one of the good things about this me my 13 update room for the me tool device users if you're a user of poco m2 pro redmi note 9s pro or pro max you can install this thing on a device as this device didn't got this update yet already while making this video of course now moving on to the safety net status which matters a lot one thing keep in mind that if you want to use this thing on your device um, especially without root safety status is not passing so yes if you want to install this thing you need to have magic installed you need to hide that and if it is still not passing for you then you need to use some safety net fix modules and the videos the tutorial videos are already available on our channel so make sure to check out those that might help you for sure now moving on to some other things if we move on to the settings yeah, by the way one thing let me show you you can see the fonts here the fonts are from mimo 13 china ones and i have these fonts available and these fonts are looking quite good you can use these fonts in other custom rooms also as a ttf file you can use this and also let me show you this thing here the system will extend ram by 1 gb and yes memory extension is on which is working perfectly fine you can able you are able to see this the memory extension is on the ram has you can see 4 plus 1 gb available i'm using a 64 gb and 4 gb ram variant including that if you move on to the default launcher here default launcher has uh, this options for example the app vault let's see if app vault is working fine which means the new widgets are working fine here or not the widgets here are just working perfectly fine that also looks quite good by the way a lot of things are already included in this one this build includes this build looks quite good by the way i think so quite stable but yeah it's, it's up to you if you want to use this thing or not the floating windows multitasking a lot more things i have tried so far in this one and didn't got any kind of major issue so far while installing this thing on my device home skill layout you can adjust you can even customize the icons for example you have the poco icons by default you can use the MIUI ones arrange items and recents and a lot more things are already included interesting thing is you have the fingerprint face unlock and all of these things are just working perfectly fine i tried using the face unlock also i don't use face unlock much honestly but i tried i checked it to show you as it is just working perfectly fine no issues while using the fingerprint lock and face unlock both of these things are working fine here so yes this is also one of the plus points moving on to the battery section you have all the enhanced features you have the battery temperature which will not show you the cool and hot etc which is available in the new updates but in this one we have the temperature available you can also customize you can also choose the battery mode to performance mode balanced mode or save battery mode it's up to you actually you can use the battery saver or balanced mode by default it's balanced you can use the performance mode if you want to if you want to increase the performance according to me why but i don't believe in me why because me why is not you can't be compared with a usb's performance moving on to the additional settings here we have the memory extension we have the clear speaker clear speaker is actually working fine and this is something really good about xiaomi devices memory extension is also included as i just mentioned previously add 1 gb of extended ram on your device with 4 gb plus 1 gb which will take 1 gb from your storage and yeah something interesting one special features also includes a sidebar where you can enable the option called always show so that you'll be able to use any app in the floating windows almost most of the apps which are supported or you can use according to your own preference you also have the gaming mode video toolbox etc all the useful features all the features which you have in all the MIUI devices you have those features are available here other things i've already shown you some things were just quite good here uh, one of the good choices i think so if you want to install this thing you can um i think so it's not a bad deal if you want to install this link is in the description one thing i just forgotten about that if you move on to this volume panel volume panel is good but uh, if you if you want to take some screenshots here by pressing the buttons here let me tell you the bug here if you take the screenshot by this three finger it is just working perfectly fine here no issues in this one but if you want to take screenshots by pressing the volume and power key by, by how you already take the screenshots 
you will not be able to so keep this in mind that this option is not working you can only be able to take the screenshots by just hold swiping down the three fingers and the same option but you can't they take screenshots with the by pressing the keys so keep this in your mind uh, this is a bug which is not a major one a minor bug i think so but uh, the things i just want to let you know i have already shared with you these were my opinions about this mi 13 latest update for the mutual device users the ported rom if you want to install this thing link is in the description this is all thanks for watching i hope you like this video thanks for watching bye Like I'm floating through the air